Hi. Welcome back. We're uh, still on 2.4. This is another application of linear equations. This is mixture problems. Hashtag mixture probs. Um, <clears throat> let me explain the basics of what is going on with a mixture problem. With a mixture problem, you have like a, an acid or a solution or a, a, something that you're mixing um, and your goal is either to strengthen the solution or to weaken the solution. Um, like in chemistry, sometimes you need a, an acid might be too strong, so you might dilute it with a weaker acid or sometimes um, uh, like something has too much alcohol in it or not enough alcohol in it, so you, you add something stronger or something weaker to make that um, the desired solution, right? So the formula that we're gonna use for a mixture problem um, would be the percent strength, right? The percent, how strong it is. Like if it's 98% uh, hydrochloric acid, that's super strong. Um, so the percent, whatever the percentage is, times the amount, the amount of the solution that you're mixing, like whether it's gallons or liters or whatever, however we measure a liquid that we're mixing, equals the amount of percent, okay? So that's the formula we're gonna use, okay? Um, notice the steps, they should look familiar. Identify a variable, make a table, make an equation, solve and check for reasonableness. When you get good at this mixture problem, you're getting better at investment problems, you're getting better at geometry problems, you're getting better at motion problems because you're, you're understanding how to diagnose what's going on with all the information. You're getting better at filling out the tables. <clears throat> you're getting better at um, making the equations, you know? You're getting better at, hey, what, what information is given to me? Um, all right, so, and what I found about mixture problems, one more thing, is that students seem to find this to be the easiest of all the type of problems, which is cool because I think the formula is kind of that. Yeah, the formula is kind of weird, but students usually have the most success with this type of problem. Uh, I think it's like maybe the most straightforward. All right, but let's see what's going on in this particular example. How many liters of 14% math juice should be mixed with 20 liters of 50% math juice to get a solution that's 30% math juice. So first off, let's figure out what's going on. This person, his math juice or her math juice is too strong. You know how that can be, right? Um, this person has 20 liters of 50% math juice and they, they want to dilute it a little bit. So they're going to add 14% math juice to make it weaker. And they're going to keep adding that 14% math juice till they get their favorite percentage of it, which is 30%. Does that make sense? Part of, you know, understanding these problems is understanding what's going on in the situation. Um, okay, so what would our variable, remember the variable will come from the question and it says how many liters of 14% math juice. How many liters of 14% math juice? Well, look at our percentages. Uh, when you have a mixture problem, you're adding something weak to something strong to get something in the middle. We're adding a weak substance to a strong substance to get something in the middle. Or if you're strengthening it, you're adding a strong substance to a weak sub substance to get something in the middle. But it, it always kind of has the same process, okay. So again, the variable comes from the question, how many liters, that would be the amount, right? I wanna know the amount of liters of 14%. So our weak percentage is gonna be the 14%. And remember, let's get in the habit of when we have percentages and we're making the equations of writing them as a decimal. So 14% would be 0.14, correct? And since it says how many of the 14%, my variable is going to be that. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I fill out? Let's fill out what we can fill out. 
We know there's the percentages. What's the strength of my middle solution? Let's see, I have a 50% solution that was way too strong, um, and then a 30% solution. So 30% would be my middle strength, and my strong solution would be 50%. So I'm gonna call it 0.3 and 0.5 respectively, okay, for the, for the medium and the strong. Now, which one of these do I know the amount of? It's given to us in the problem. Let's see, it says 20 liters of 50%. So I know the amount of my 50% is 20 liters. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the units off on the table and I'll fill them in at the end if that's okay with you. Now, here's the one other maybe little tricky thing, but again, these, the mixture problem is a little more straightforward, I feel like. But when you're adding something weak to something strong, we're adding this amount of the weak or 14% math juice to this amount, the 20 liters of the 50% math juice. Well, what's the amount of the middle strength that I'm gonna have? If I add X to 20, it would be X plus 20, right? That should, I hope that makes sense to you. And if it doesn't, don't worry, we'll keep practicing and, and it will. Now remember, how do I get this third column all the time every time yep multiply so 0.14 times x i would like to write that as 0.14 x and then 0.3 times x plus 20. so since i have uh two terms here i'm gonna have to use distribution so 0 0.3 times x plus 20 and then 0.5 times 20. All right, now we need to make our equation. So let's think about this. When we're making a mixture, we're, in this case, we're diluting our mixture. We're adding something weak to something strong to get something in the middle. We're adding something weak to something strong to get something in the middle. So I'm gonna take this expression, add it to this expression, and it's gonna equal that one. So, you know what, I'm gonna do it right here so that I have plenty of room to work. I don't wanna run out of room, so I'm gonna erase this right here. And I'm gonna come up right below the formula there. I have 0.14x plus 0 0.5 times 20 uh, equals the middle expression there. 0 0.3 times x plus 20. All right, let's distribute first. I have some distributing right here to do. So I have 0 0.14x. I might as well multiply that in the same stuff, even though technically that's not distributing. Let's just multiply that. Plus 0 0.5 times 20, or half of 20. That's gonna be 10, right? And then when I distribute this here, I get 0 0.3x and 0.3 times 20 is plus six. Good. Now I'm at the, the point in the equation where I wanna get all the variables to one side. Um, so I have 0.14x and 0.3x. Now careful, that's really 0.30x. Sometimes we think this is the smaller number. Well, this is bigger than this number, right? So I'm gonna subtract 0.14x and minus 0.14x, and then I get 10 equals uh, 0.16x plus six. All right, how do you feel about that? Good. So now, at this point, I'm gonna subtract six and subtract six, and then four, equals 0.16x, okay, almost there. Now I have to divide by 0.16 on both sides. Um, and this is embarrassing, but <laughs> I can't figure what that is off the top of my head. And I left my calculator at home, unfortunately, so I'm gonna use my phone calculator, but it's four 
divided by 0.16, and I get 25. So X equals 25 liters is my unit, 25 liters. All right, now let's check for reasonableness. Is 25 liters a reasonable amount of a substance to mix with 20 liters? It seems fine to me, seems fine to me. So this is the amount of 14% mouth juice that would give us 30% mouth juice, 25 liters. If we wanna take it one small step forward and I wanted to find out well, how much of that middle strength or 30% mouth juice would I have, well, I could just take that X value and plug it in here. But the answer to this question is 25 liters. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. One more type of 2.4 application problem.